Welcome back to the Summoner's World 2024 Beginner Account Series and the progression doesn't stop. And today we are progressing in RTA. I am literally one win away from being in Conqueror 1 and that is also very mind-blowing to me. It might be this one or it might be the next 30 wings. You never know. It is RTA. So, I am using the LD5 I summon in RTA because this is not dungeon, okay? I have to use every single thing I have and I also managed to summon a Ciara. So we're gonna use her in RTA as well, but no skill up, but she's on a speed crit rate attack build. Very nice, got some... How do I get these artifacts? <laughs> it's crazy. So we're gonna start off by using the support unit and a Vert. Vert, in my opinion, in anywhere below C1 is equivalent to having a ragdoll an ld5 and he's really good i'm trying to go triple revenge but we don't have triple revenge just yet i go with double revenge will and that is just as good so we have strip and attack bar we're gonna go for damage and stun and we might need another stripper as well enemies going turn two i fear this leader skill a lot because for early game player you don't have max accuracy on everything so even though I know my team composition might be good, I don't have the accuracy to execute. So this unit is pretty okay for early game PvP because people don't really know how to deal with her and she can perform a lot of stun, which is kind of cool. Two resistant leader over there, I am already in trouble. So we do need a control unit. I think the Charlotte has pretty good accuracy from the support section as well. We're going to ban one of the healer. So I think I'm gonna ban the Riley. And we're gonna try to kill Rakuni as quickly as possible. That is gonna be a problem. So we lose Ciara, which is great because I don't think my bomb damage is good enough to kill any one of them quickly. And we still have Charlotte on our team and she's going to be my main control unit. And together with the Vert attack bar boost, I think we're gonna be able to win. Or not. <laughs> He's full will! He got wings and shit! We can't kill this guy! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we wasted our sleep. Rock turn one as well, going for some strip. Oh, we got everybody, which is cool. But I'm not sure whether I'm going to get the stun or not. I have 15 accuracy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we got some stun. That's very good. I'm going to shield up because the damage from Dominic is coming. And the shield will hopefully keep me alive. Okay. That's going to hurt. That's going to... Oh, the shield is pretty good. And we took the big hit. The small hit is here, but it's not too crazy. We're going to try to... Stun this guy, despair stun, no despair stun. We're going to push back the attack bar. Okay, looking really good right now. As long as I keep my stun going, I'm going to try and kill the enemy healer first. But can I do that? Can I can I stun you? So, golf mommy gets skill 3 up all the time, which is amazing. Because of her, of her cool little mechanic where they get a turn, she reduces her own cooldown with a skill 3. So... Oh, we survived! Oh, that's really good because now when he come back, he can one-shot one of my important unit, which is really important. And they're not really moving. We're going to try to kill him and the Raccoonie at the same time. If I win this, we're going to be C1 in 12 days of playing Summoner's War. <laughs> in 12 days, I am C1 and there are so many, and I mean so many hard stuck What? <laughs> you... Uh, <laughs> I'm C1! Oh my god, I can't believe it! <laughs> Just like that! Oh my goodness! That is crazy! Can I get a 24 speed? But it was never easy. There are three main kind of people you will meet along the way to C1, and here's how I would approach them. The first guy is the X conqueror X whatever player. They have the monster, they have the runes, they have the speed lead. They will outrun you in every regard, which means you can never really beat them no matter what you do. So against these people, you are going to lose and it is okay. All right, don't feel bad, don't feel anything about it because you are throwing an egg at a rock and no matter what you do, no matter how many th egg you throw, you are going to lose. So when you lose to these kind of people, never feel bad, never feel anything at all because it shouldn't affect your performance against the other people that you can actually beat. So against the very, very strong people where they are much faster than you, their monster pool is insane, just lose. It is totally fine to lose. 
The second kind will be the people that are using the support unit just like you as well. They are new player and they are trying their best. So this is where we need to beat them. Okay, because we know exactly what they are ruined with. So this guy is picking most of the support unit or all support unit. How to know if they pick the first two unit and they belong to the support pool, then you know exactly what they are using. So half the pool from the support unit are not ruined with wheel rune. That's why I have a very fast spectra. My best swift set is on spectra. And if you pick a speed leader from the support monster, then you will outspeed them with spectra very easily. And spectra will destroy all of the current support unit with the speed debuff and attack debuff. Sonia, Charlotte, um, Belenus, whatever Chiwu they're using, they don't matter. The moment Spectra slow them down and put debuff on them, you instantly win. And there's nothing they can do about it because Spectra has higher base speed and your best swift set should be on Spectra to destroy the people who are trying to use a support unit because you know how to beat them all the time. And the last kind of people is the kind of people that are not sure what they are doing. So here, if you don't see any speed lead, try to overwhelm them with a faster team. Use the Sonia, use the more, use the Vert to gain attack bar and overwhelm them, which is a faster team. So here I was using Sonia. I'm going to one shot one of the damage dealer. I buff immunity so that the debuff unit will not work. And that's about it because they don't really know what they're doing, so you can actually beat them. But this is going to be the hardest kind of people because you need to know what you are doing. So how do you know that? You need to practice with all the support monster. If your pools of monster is not good, all you have is support monster, maybe a front, a vert, and a veramos. You have to learn how to use them. You have to learn how to use the speed lead and have to learn when to pick immunity, when to pick strong AOE last pick, when they don't have any immunity. All that stuff can come from experience. But if you lose to the strong people 30% of the time and you win against the weak people or people who don't know what they're doing or the people who are using the support unit 60% of the time, you're going to climb. You're going to get to C1 and I believe you can. All right, because I don't do anything special. I just run up a vert on revenge. I run up a fast spectra with whatever I have, whatever I can farm. I somehow got this very, very good rune. Lucky me. But whatever swift rune you get, put it on a spectra it will outspeed all the support monster. And whatever five star you have, build one or two unit, trying to give them some Devilmon, and you're gonna get to C1, all right? I believe you can. Now back to me clambing in C1. I will probably drop here, but we have to keep going. Holy shit. I can't believe it took me one fight. I thought it was gonna be quite a struggle. I'm pretty sure I will never beat a real C1 player. I can only sneak into C1. And this guy is cleaving. Usually in Fighter 3, what I do against people who are trying to go fast with speed lead and supposedly first turn unit is I run up a Spectra. And especially when I'm using support unit like the Sonia or the other support unit that doesn't have wheel rune, this skill is going to be very impactful against them. So I don't know what he's doing, but I know I'm going to go for a Vert and we are potentially going for a Mi Yang because he's picking a fire damage dealer. And if they're going turn two, then I will go with the support unit can strip. So that'll be more. That will be Clara. And I'll go with Charlotte. I'll go with Dark Jennifer. And I'll control them with a Vert as well. Because with Vert, you are literally just destroying them with CC. And there's nothing they can do about it. So we're going to go second. And this unit is going to be insane for second turn. And he doesn't really have a stun unit. So that's going to be even more awesome. If I win this fight... Then my C1 was not like a one-hit wonder, okay? It's a real C1. And if I win this fight, I can stop playing and I'll be C1 when the season ends because C1 is the top 60,000 player and we are at 54,000. So I don't think the rank's going to climb really crazy in C1. So if I win this, I can stop playing until the season ends, which is really crazy. Okay, he's definitely going to be way faster. He's going to go first. We can only pray that Belenus will stay alive. Okay, Belenus. Oh, he's autoing, which is great. A lot of people are... Oh, he's autoing with uh, focus. Oh, oh, he... Oh, he violent probably. He derps. So we're going to try and stun right here. Beautiful. We're going to drop bombs on potentially you because you are high defense, which is great. A lot of people auto and they don't really play. And if you play carefully, you can still beat them very easily. So... No extra debuff. Can I get a stun right here? Beautiful. We're going to get more attack bar by hitting this guy. And then we're going to do that clap clap. Very good damage right there. But I haven't won yet because there's Raccoonie, there's Kaki, and they can be dangerous because I can't really kill them quickly. 
So I'm going to skill one, maybe get a vial. If we got a vial, I think we could have killed Kaki right there. Now I'm not sure what to do, but we're gonna go for the Raccoonie. Some more attack bar here. We can bomb another person. And I am going for Raccoonie because Raccoonie can cleanse all the debuff I put on them. We're gonna detonate this because we need to kill Raccoonie and the Panda. And we're gonna go now on the Bastet. Okay, he's still autoing, which is great. See, you don't have to beat real player because there are so many NPC out there that you can beat because they're autoing. They don't know what they're doing and it's great. All right, we beat another C1 player. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this. This is, this is so good. I'm having so much fun. Even though this is low level RTA and my account is barely two weeks in, we are... We are absolutely clapping some cheeks out here. Dude, I can stop right now and I'm C1 to the end. We're gonna go further and beyond, okay? All right, this time we have an Oliver and Wusa first pick. He's following up with a strip and a damage dealer. We're gonna go for our standard game plan here because I don't have any other game plan to be honest. <laughs> and we can't stun this guy, which is kind of a problem. So against this, I think we're gonna go for this so that we can take the attention away from all the unit. And for last pick, we can also go with potentially a strip or immunity unit. I'm going to go for her and we're going to ban Wusa and we pray that he doesn't pick double immunity. Because if he does, then that's going to be a problem. So she's ruined on speed, HP and attack. Not the best build, but it's fine. We're going to ban the Wusa here. And he's going to ban the Vert, which is pretty good. She's there to follow up after the Moor and the Chiwu. So she's ruined a bit slower than them. You don't want your AoE unit to go in front of your stripper, which is the problem with the Charlotte and the support list because the Charlotte is actually faster. Oh, this guy's off wheel. So we outspeed with a swift set on this unit and the Oliver has to hit this unit. We're going to try to kill the unit that can't be stunned because the Dark Golf Mummy can actually just stun the rest of them and they can't do anything to me. So right now, Oliver has to hit the Fire Shadow guy thingy because of the threat state. And we will try our best to do some AoE damage in the meantime. Very good. Oh, that monkey is really easy to kill. <laughs> we just win! <laughs> oh my god! The, the, the LD5 didn't even do anything! <laughs> oh, that Leo though. I don't want to deal with that. I really don't want to deal with that. And then there's that Veladru as well. Oh my god, there's so many problems. But hey, we're gonna try. If he ban Chiwu, we literally will die. <laughs> but we have a shot. Let's see if he realize. All right, we get to keep Vert and we get to keep Ciara. That's gonna be amazing because that's gonna allow me to have the damage to kill his damage dealer because my damage ignore defense and his main selling point is gonna be defense. But that, that blue guy is gonna be a little bit annoying because I will have to hit him at some point and that will really mess up my combo. Okay, no immunity on Vela. So, oh, Vela is really slow. Man, I don't have to, wait, I don't have to actually strip yet. I can just go straight for the kill. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna push back the attack bar a little bit. And we're going to not do anything actually. We're just gonna bomb. If I land this, it's gonna be insane. We're gonna bomb this. Attack buff bomb of Ciara should do enough damage. Oh my god, why is that thing why is that thing so tanky? <laughs> it's the vibe and attack buff bomb, but it's stunned though. So I can actually attack it without worrying about the funny thing. Alright, Velaju is gonna do the cleanse, but we have the Chiu to deal with the potential thing that comes from the Velaju. So no healing over time for him. Oh my god, the the, the free the free thing from the Chiwu, the, the free despair set from the Chiwu actually worked. Alright, do I wanna touch him? I kinda don't wanna touch him. Just ignore him for now. He has a glancing on, so I think that's not going to be crazy damage. We're going to touch him to get rid of that. And then... What do I do? Oh, that is a beautiful two-turn sleep, so we can't even violent proc if he's unviolent. We're going to hit the panda for the attack bar. We're going to... Okay. She used the cleanse turn one, so she definitely doesn't have the cleanse anymore. So I'm put the bomb on you. And we're going to hit her to get some attack bar. Get her to get some more attack bar. All right, looking really good. The bomb will get detonated later, so I don't have to worry about the actual duration of the bomb. We're gonna have attack buff, and can I stun this guy? 
That'd be insane. Can I do some more damage? All right, we don't have the thing just yet. Dude, if I have a max skill Ciara, I have already won this game. <laughs> if only if a max skill Ciara. All right, we still have attack buff on Ciara. That is amazing. If we miss bomb, it's going to be very, very sad. But if we land the bomb, it's going to be amazing. Come on. Beautiful. All right, detonation. Okay, we're going to finish that too. <laughs> Dude, I'm... I'm Dude, I'm just winning, man. We are winning out here, baby. Let's go. And I, th I think we should have this one in the back. He has no more damage left, and Villager is really slow from what I saw earlier. So we should be okay here. I, I don't care what you do, buddy. All right? Dude, we are like ultra, ultra safe C1. So if you're a hard stuck Fighter 3 player out there, try to utilize the support unit. They are all really, really good to use. You're going turn one, you got more, you got Clara, you got Charlotte, you got your free Vert, and potentially these two unit on Swift. And if you're going turn two, just go with Vert, go with Amduat, go with Diana, and I'm sure you can get to C1 as well. I believe you can do it if I can do it too, because nothing here I do is special. I might have an LD5 that looks really scary right there, but if you have summoned any five star that can do AUE control, they're going to. They are probably going to do the same thing like if you summon Chengpeng, Varad, Rika, or whatever five star you have that AoE control, you can do it too. And just build a good bird, have a strong swift unit, and I hope that you can get to C1 as well. Everyone, I believe, has what it takes to get to C1, and I believe that, for real. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.